All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto you. How about you, man? Shalom, Shalom, Kakodash. The man said, the apostle, the other's a great millstone. Shalom, to other I came out to preach the word of sincerity and the truth. I yeah, just wanted to, um, you know, give my two cents on this wickedness, you know, that's going on all across the face of the earth. You know, you see these different animals, you know, the beasts of the Lord, you know, you know, suffering at an all-time high. You know, I have this image queued up. The rhinoceros, and you'll see the same one on the thumbnail. But it's not just rhinos; it's all kind of animals. Uh, I was watching a video, you know, going into a uh, rhinoceros po poaching, and they'll chop the horns off of these rhinoceroses for, um, you know, basically magical purposes. And, and ma mainly, it's fucking gooks, man. A lot of those Asiatics. You know they they and they're the mo one of the most bugged out nations, man. When it, especially when it comes to diet and, and how they eat, really they they uh de facto, man. You know de facto number one, numero uno. In fact, you know the the top of the um. You know top of the food chain, when it comes to the bullshit that they eat, they'll eat lion bone soup. You know they'll eat octopus, squid, lobster. You know and of course you got niggas that eat that here, they, but they eat pangolin. You know, they'll 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 eat anything that um you know crawls, you know, or, or moves on the face of the earth. And then a lot of that stuff they'll eat alive. I've seen plenty of videos where Chinese, you know, women will eat a frog living, you know, they'll eat a octopus, put octopus in hot water, living and then uh, you know, take it right out. And then uh, you know, while the blood is still pumping and squirming, that's when they'll, you know, shove it in their, their you know, in their mouths, man. You know, you know shove it in a damn pothole. So this just just shows you the wickedness of um, you know, this kingdom. You know, the the wildlife as we know it is dying off. If if they're not being hunted by poachers, you know, for for bones and body parts, and they're inside of these different fucking zoos, being showcased in a prison. You know, and that's not how you know the Lord wanted His beast to intend. That's why. You know, this world has to have an extremely hard reset. It has to be a strong reset button. Because now you have a, a, a new thing where everything is going damn extinct, man. You know, you can't even, you know, when I was a kid, you know, cut on Animal Planet, you could watch it all day and stuff like that. You know, every time you watch Animal Planet, you know, it's it's, it's always some type of pessimist, pessimistic statement about how the animal you're watching is it's not so many of them. It's only... uh. A few in a while, and the ones that's remaining, they're gonna probably be extinct sometime soon. And that's in the Arctic regions, the grasslands, the wetlands, you know, all these different, uh, the Amazonian regions, you know, all these different animals are being hunted at a dramatic rate by these fucking, um, Edomites, Edomite poachers, and you got nigger poachers too, you know, but it's basically the wicked, you know, because when we was in our power seat, we wasn't doing this shit, we wasn't going overseas. You know, you know, or going to different lands, chopping arms off of gorillas, you know, you know, flaying them or whatnot, and uh, for for their uh, body parts to uh, showcase or drink, you know, within our soups as a broth, you know. But you see these heathens do it. That's what that's what happens when the wicked is in their power. All right, the scripture speak about when the wicked bear rule, all the people mourn. So you, so I was just doing a little bit on this little reading on poachers. You know, animals parts that's uh, being poached and the prices. I couldn't find the prices, but I found some uh, other good info. It says some examples of illegal wildlife when it's under which animals are being poached. Some examples of illegal wildlife traders are well known, such as poaching of elephants for ivory and tigers for their skin and bones. Right, like I said, they got they make like lion bone soup. They also make tiger bone soup within Asia. They'll brew a um, soup with the bones of the tiger to give it an enhanced flavor and they'll say that these are natural aphrodisiacs and things of such. However, countless other species are similarly overexploited from marine turtles to timber trees. Right, so even the um you know the plant life you know, plant life and trees, you know, is, is being assaulted as well as the wildlife. It's not just, you know, us as a People, it's all the Lord's creation. That's why the scriptures speak about how the Most High is furious. The Lord, when He was creating everything in that, you know, six thousand, uh, you know, time frame, Yahweh shining the angels, you know, seven 
seventh um, por portion, he rested. You know, it was over when he was created the animals and things of that such. And he created us uh, synonymously on the fifth day. What did he say after? It was good, meaning it was um, fit to thrive and to flourish, you know, you know, in its uh, entirety. But not this devil. This, this devil like, no, 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 we got to, you know. We got we to gotta snatch just the horns off these different animals. You know, these animals, they got it where a lot of vultures get hunted down. They believe that a lot of vultures don't belong. You know, hell, in um, in these different swamp lands, they'll uh, hunt uh, uh, rodents. I forget the exact rodent it is. You know, they, they uh, look kind of like badgers. I can't think of the exact type, uh, like capy capybara, if I'm not mistaken. That's the names of them, you know, look kind of like wombats, but, um, you know, they hunt those down and they get paid like $6 because they say it's an overrun. It's too many of them in the, in the area. So they're just hunting them down at an extremely high rate. You know, you got the individuals that are hunted, then they'll take it to restaurants and cook it and then they'll feed it to the people. It looks just like a, a copy bar. If I better want to look that up. Matter of fact, I'll just type it in. Yeah, look, this is it. You know, those, some of those copy bars are big as hell, but uh, it looks kind of like that, but a little bit smaller. It, it might be in the same family. But yeah, those are being hunted down at all time high, as well as dogs and cats. You know, a lot of those domestic animals are being killed and, and, and their body parts used uh, and for, for meat, you know, culinary dishes and all that bullshit, man. You know, just, you know, for uh, fragrance purposes. You know, they use these animals, you know, like you have individuals wearing mink. Here it is. You're not even in the Arctic region. You'll get these different animals that's bodies designed for the for the cold. And you'll, you know, kill off all these different animals and put a, you know, big fur on just for, for you know, just a showcase. That's why the Lord has to kill off two thirds of the nation of Israel, as well as, you know, the masses of these, these, these fucking people, man, because their heads are totally lodged up their asses. So it says, which parts of animals are used by poachers? Foods and exotic dishes for the, for the who? For the elite. All right. So it's mainly the rich. You know, the rich are really the most low class of all people for eating this garbage, man. Yeah, people think that they're more high class because they could dress in designer fashion and they, you know, living in these multi-million dollar uh, states. That makes them high class. These people are low as hell. That's why when you go into, you know, debauchery, you know, and decadence, it deals with um, excessive eating, and it really reduces you. It makes you uh, low. But it says some wild animals like the zebras, lions, hippos, elephants, gazelles, snakes, and giraffe are killed for their meat. So they're killing gazelles, which because if I'm not mis oh I'm thinking about um actual actually uh, uh, yeah giraffes. If I'm not mistaken, giraffes are actually lawful, you know, because it um. You know, it's cloven foot in the chew of the cud. But besides that, you know, you got people that's eating snakes, especially in uh, Louisiana and different places. You know, gazelles, elephants, this big ass animal, you shooting them in the head right between the eyes. And, you know, you're, you're actually eating it, you know, chopping off its tusks and consuming it. It doesn't even look edible. But they can't tell these heathens that, you know, zebras, lions, hippos. Says traditionally referred to as bush meat. The meat of these animals include apes and snakes are a delicacy in a certain parts of Africa. It says what other animals is poached and for what reason? The reason why elephants are poached, their ivory tusks are used for ornaments, jewelry, billiards, balls, piano keys, and other items that humans enjoy. Another reason elephants are being poached is for their skin and meat. This is most common in Asian elephants. Right, so like I said it's it's a gradual die off. That's why we want the Lord to, you know, come back and hit the giant reset button anyways, man, just to, you know, cuz it says if the Lord didn't shorten the days, no flesh should be safe. How can anything live and sustain you know, when the environment is is predicated upon death, you know, and wickedness? You know, these, these animals fear for their damn life, man. You know, they're getting uh, tranquilized, getting their arms tied behind their back, you know, and sent and hauled to some damn foreign region 
and on the, on, the, on the other side of the planet just to be in captivity for people to take pictures of, man. You know? Then they'll put them in a circus, you know, tase them, and you you'll see a fucking big ass lion, man, playing with a with a with a damn with a damn beach ball or 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 a seal. And then people will look at that as extravagant. You'll see, you know, masses of the people clapping their hands like the damn seal with the beach ball in his hand. I mean, on his on his nose, you know, and they'll look at that as a fancy, you know, pay, they pay top dollar for this shit, man. You know, and this should piss you off, you know, if, if you know, as a create create a creature of the most high. Scripture speak about, you know, the creatures um mourning. These are, you know, fellow creatures. The Lord created uh like I said, created us on the same day. And he created, you know, animals to be for the service of man, not for, you know, consump you know, especially these these type of animals for consumption, man. You know, that's why the Lord gave a lot of these animals a major portion. Certain parts of Africa, man, Africa's big as hell and he you know, the Lord gave a lot of those portions for that um that wildlife, man. But this is Proverbs twelve and ten. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beasts, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Right. So this this devil, even in his most tender estate, he still exercises the best of his wickedness, man. And you you um you know, shame on you niggas for trying to always trying to, you know, put him out the scope, you know, like he's not doing these things, man. And you niggas, you know, a lot of these jakes, they, they damn, they can't even get outside their, um, you know, get outside the fucking highway, you know, get outside the, the metropolitan uh, city, you know. And, you know, that's what clouds a lot of these jakes' judgment because they don't know what's going on in the face of the earth and they don't do their research. So to speak about how are the hidden things of Esau searched out, you know, you got to do your homework on this devil, you know. Speaks about how Esau did accomplish a diligent search. We got to do a diligent search. Scripture says, give diligence. You know, study. Not only, you know, you study the scriptures, you get into the, uh, the prophecies and the, uh, you know, the wisdom. You know, you got to look on a worldwide, you know, spectrum to see what this devil is doing, man. And he's running amok on the face of the earth. That's why it tells you that in the Revelation, the sixth chapter, you know, how he's known as death. You know, it also tells you that in Habakkuk, the second chapter. But this Revelation 11 and 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Right, so the earth is destroyed. All right, it said that with deforestation, they cutting off trees the size of Panama, you know? You know, a lot of these bees, you know, scripture speak about how uh, the bee is little among the fly, but his um, fruit is chiefest amongst amongst them. You know, a lot of these bees are dying off. A lot of these insects, you know, don't stand a chance. You know, you got these, uh, what you got first, first, uh, secondary up, you know, uh, consumers and things of that nature. I forget the exact chain. I could look at it, but, you know, you know, it's a, you got primary and secondary. You know, you got apex predators and, you know, you got that. It's the circle of life, you know, which the sun, you know, helps support and, you know, you know, the plant life and the water life, all these different things. They synchronize, man. You know, synch uh, synchronized energy, synergy. That's it. But this white man being the, you know, being death, you know, as well as these other nations, these other nations don't get a pass to. It's not just the white man. It's, you know. These fucking heathens are just as disgusting and just as vicious as this white man. You know, they all have a, a joint coalition to, to destroy the earth, you know, and the means of getting uh, filthy rich. So they don't care about sacrificing hundreds of, of, of horns. Look at that. It's chopping the, 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 um, the horn off a of rhino is, is basically like cutting his rod off, man. Like, what can you, you can't even defend yourself at that point. That's what the Lord. That's why the Lord gave the rhino the horn. All right. That's why the Lord gave these. The Lord gave these animals attack mechanisms and defense mechanisms, you know, so that they could survive and have longevity, you know, in in uh, nature, man. But this devil doesn't. These devils don't care about that. This is Numbers thirty five and thirty three. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. 
but by the blood of him that shed it. Right, so that's payback, man. This devil has a big ass tab, and we don't we only know a portion of the tab. As, as many videos as we put out through the spirit and power of the Lord and as much research, you know, we research on this devil, we still on a uh, uh still only have an inkling. You know, because a lot of stuff he has hurt, hidden, a lot of stuff he's burnt, you know, and history goes far. History is a it's a wide range, man. These individual devils and their records, you know, these devils be 70 years old and been running them up since the fucking tender age of two, man. You know, start from killing cats, you know, killing us certain, um, you know, wild, you know, they, they start killing wildlife to actually killing men, experimenting, um, you know, on, on Jake's. And that's why you had Tuskegee experiment, the Puerto Rican cancer experiment, all these different experiments where, where this devil was injecting you with poison, man. You know, for you to have a gradual die-off. You know, so that's why, you know, it has to be a major payback. You know, I didn't want to be too long with it, but I wanted to shed light on that, you know, because it's the spirit. You know, everything is dying off, and this man who's killing everything, he has to have a die-off. You know, and if a nigga jump in front of the, you know, the bullet, he's going to take it with him. It says, uh, though hand join a hand, yet the wicked shall not be unpunished, man. All right, so when anybody giving all praise and glory unto you, how about Shema Shabbat, Shema Kakodash, double honor to the Apostle, others of the great millstone, Shalom Omakia.